So the first thing that we want to make sure that everybody understands is you're putting the humidifier on the plenum where the coil is not blanked off and slightly above the top of it. So we're going to take our template now and we're going to line this up on the plenum where we're going to want to cut the hole for the humidifier. Most important part of this step, crucial, you've got to have the template level. It's time to take our Sharpie and draw around the template so we know where we need to cut. We created a starter hole. Now we're gonna take our snips and we're gonna cut along our lines and create the space for our humidifier to go in. Now that you've got everything cut out and your humidifier base is installed on your ductwork, the most important thing to do is to recheck your level. The majority of phone calls that we get back at April Air where there's a problem with our humidifier are as a result of the humidifier not being level. So always recheck. Now that our humidifier is set and we've double checked the level, it's time to secure it to the ductwork. So how do we do this? Six sheet metal screws. There are six holes in the frame. Simply drive through those and you're set. Okay, so we're now secured to the ductwork. It's time to reinsert our water panel assembly. So a couple of things to take note of here. Number one, drain side down. And then number two, we're inserting the water panel the right way. We can tell because we've got the cutout for the feed tube here and the backstop so that the feed tube is in for the correct amount of distance. Bottom part goes into the drain. Water panel snaps into place. All right, your panel's locked in place. Your feed tube is properly set. Nothing left to do here but put the cover back on. All right, so now we're gonna run the copper water line, guys. Really simple to do. Just pointing out step seven on the insulation instructions here. Shows you the double wrench method in order to tighten your copper water line. Please follow this instruction to ensure that we don't get any leaks. Now you're gonna to have to run these two lead wires according to the installation instructions. These will run back through the control, the 24 volt transformer, and circulate back through the system in order to ensure proper operation time. And then finally, it's always best practice to seal up around the evaporative humidifier where you attached it to the ductwork. Uh, run a bead of caulk through it, duct tape, dealer's choice when it comes to this one.